Hi, this is Brianne Beleza again. Um, welcome back to um, my video blog on YouTube. Now, you know, it's a crazy thing with common sense in that and, you know, using your head. Like Dr. Phil once said, common sense is going to have a comeback this year. Well, you know, Dr. Phil, no offense, but I don't see that happening. Nor do I see it happening anytime soon. Now, the reason I decided to do a vlog about that, about common sense, is because I just watched the uh, airline reality show with Southwest that A&E used to do, and the name of the uh, episode was Relative Values, and really the first story, it was like, one of the dumbest, they were like some of the dumbest people I've ever seen in my life. Because a grandmother wanted to travel with her oxygen tanks on a plane. Now we all know that there are oxygen machines made for um, traveling on a plane. But, since she didn't have the proper kind, she wanted to travel without her oxygen. And not only was that the stupidest lack of common sense on her part, as well as her daughter-in-law, but also the woman had had surgery a couple weeks before and was just released from the hospital like an hour or two before that. Now, most people do not fly on a plane for a vacation right after being released from the hospital. The lack of common sense there is, well, for one, you need to go home and rest after you get released from the hospital and recover first. You don't go on a plane and travel to Las Vegas or wherever else. Secondly, you got to make sure that you either go on the company's website, the airline's website, or you call them and you request a copy of their policies of what's allowed and what's not allowed on the plane. And if something that you want or need to bring is not allowed, then you either call the airline for assistance in making alternative arrangements, or if you know what to do, you do it yourself. You need to plan ahead. That's another thing. And that was another lack of ability on their part. But mostly, it's the common sense of them calling the doc. It's the common sense of the fact that she needed oxygen. And the doctor could not give her that release when they called him up. 
and then they have the nerve to complain to the airline saying that they're jerks and saying that the doctor's a jerk for not releasing her and not signing the, the paperwork to release her to fly without oxygen. Well, why would he? I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Come on. And the daughter-in-law says, what could she possibly do that she needs oxygen? Because the um, mother-in-law was, the grandmother was in a wheelchair. Um, well, I'll tell you what should, she needs, that she needs oxygen. Uh, breathe. She needs oxygen to breathe just like everybody else does. Every human being needs oxygen to breathe. And not only that, but why would you be selfish like that to endanger her health? And on the grandmother's part, why would you do so some, something so stupid as to endanger your own health? I mean, I understand... You, all of you guys wanted to get out of Dodge, but, you know, health and medical are always first priority. And do you really think it's worth that for a vacation? I don't think so. And also... The grand, the 10 year old grandson, you know, I wonder where he gets his attitude from. Because when he found out that they weren't going to be going to Vegas that night because the grandmother couldn't fly with her oxygen or without it, he said, I'll get an attorney and I'll sue the person who is stopping her from getting on this airplane. And you know, from the his mother's behavior on there, it's no wonder he does that. Because when I say, I wonder where he gets that from, you know, I mean that sarcastically. I'm not really wondering it's quite clear to me. You know, and it's a great message for all parents out there. You know, children act the way that they see their parents act. And they say... The, same things their parents do. Maybe not exactly the same, but they put it in the same exact context. You have to set a good example for your children. If you behave badly in front of your children and have a bad attitude and are rude, you are setting a poor example for them. You have to set a good example for them. You can't go walking around saying, I'm going to sue you, or you're an idiot, or whatever else. You have to teach your children to do unto others as you'd have done to you. I've learned that over the years. My mother was very, very strict about that. And also, that brings up another point. You know, 
parents who just let their kids do anything. I hate that. You know, like one time in the movie theater, when I was watching the movie, of course, there were so many annoying little kids in there talking. And it's like, I'm trying to watch the movie here. And a bunch of kids are talking. And then when you try and tell the parents if they could ask the kids to quiet down a little, and you know you're nice about it and everything, you know, the parents snap at you and say, well, they're just kids. It's like, yeah, well, you want to know what? They need to learn some common courtesy. Because later on in life, when they're not little anymore, people are not going to tolerate them as much. And people will zone them out, cast them off, and won't want anything to do with them. So you need to think about how you act in front of your kids and the example you set for them and everything else and how you raise them. So thank you very much for um listening to my rant here and don't forget to subscribe for more videos which are coming soon and have a good day y'all bye